Time to play with some play. Before we get started in today's uh, video, I'd like to ask you to subscribe and uh, click the little bell next to the subscription button and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate thumbs up. It shows me that you enjoy my video. All right, let's get busy on the clay. Okay, I'm up here in my bedroom working in front of my computer, preparing the shield right now to put the uh, design, this design, on the, uh, the shield. And uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I'm going to try. What I'm doing is basically just trying to see the angle of light on the shield to show me where the dips and the low areas are. <laughs> I got my cameras mounted on two medicine bottles <laughs> with a little clay underneath them to hold them in place. Hey, you do what's what's what you got. This is the uh, the old shield that I had for my Viking that I made a uh, two DVD instructional DVD set on how to sculpt a Viking from scratch. And I went to a lot of trouble making this shield and now I'm re using it for this. What do they call that? Repurposing? That sounds like the right word. Anyway, I'll come back. Okay, I got uh, some clay rolled out for the edge. I want to make sure I got the edge clean. I'm working under a desk lamp, that's why uh, it's not the ideal lighting system. <laughs> but it works for this. Well, I'll continue this and I'll come back. Oh, by the way, I decided not to go to Yellowstone Park today, West Yellowstone, because... Uh, it occurred to me that because of this virus lockdown, a lot of the businesses aren't going to be open. And uh, I wanted to stop and go to the bookstore down there and look for some good reference books. They got great reference books down there. Nice drive, but unless I got a purpose for going down there, I just don't uh, see any purpose to do it. Does that make sense? I don't know. Besides, it's a pleasant Saturday. I can barbecue on my porch if I want to. If I had a barbecue to do barbecuing. I know it's near impossible to see, but I'm starting to put the design in the shield. Yeah, let's see if I get it in the camera. Everything's opposite. <laughs> There we go. I'm going by this rendition of Crazy Horse's Shield that supposedly was captured after a battle. 
Now, I don't know the validity of it, but it's the only source for anything that he actually had. And so I'm using it, and I'm, and I'm trying to do my best to put the uh, design into it. It ain't easy. But that's why I'm doing it here. In the afternoon. Actually, that line above the uh, shield circle. Is evenly spaced above it. This is really taking a long time to do. And I really hate doing this kind of technical stuff. There's what looks like a star over here and a star over here. And a dragonfly over here, and there'll be a dragonfly here as well. Okay, this one has little things coming out from the bottom corners of the uh, wings. But this one doesn't. That's really weird. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing today and probably Monday. Uh, because, quite honestly, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But it, doing the incision, I um, mean, in, in, inscribing these lines into the shield will make it so that when this is colored uh, in regular patina, it will stand out. And that's what I'm trying to do. All right, that's it for the weekend. See you next week. Hopefully I'll be done with this darn thing. Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.